At this time, I'd like to pass the floor over to Lizzie Taylor from SVICA. Lizzie, if you're ready, the floor is all yours. Okay, good morning on the West Coast and good afternoon to those with me on the East Coast. I am Lizzie Taylor, Director of Programs with FCICA. I'll be moderating today's webinar. Uh, as you can tell, this program is being recorded, so to maintain the integrity of the recording, all attendees will be muted. The recorded session will be housed on the FCICA Member Center and this education portal, as well as featured on our website and YouTube channel. We have some upcoming events that I'd just like to run through here quickly. Our next webinar will be next week on Wednesday. Nope, yes, that is June. Guys, it's almost June. Uh, June 5th at 1 p.m., and that'll be with HB Fuller discussing their tech products. Tech is in TEC. I'm not sure if it's TEC or tech, but either way, you'll know them. Uh, and then our next webinar will be June 12th, Wednesday. So the next two weeks, we've got two product webinars coming up. And that one will be with Bona US. Our June education webinar will be ADA Section 4.5, Ground and Floor Surfaces, uh, presented by Bill Triber at Artistic Finishes. So this will be a really good one to tune into. And then we do have another three days to sim program coming up in October 12 to 14. This will be just in front of our mid-year meeting. So if you're planning on coming down to our mid-year and you haven't gotten your project management certification yet, this is a great time to do that and just get it done with and head back to work after mid-year with the sim certification already done and a couple of education credits from our mid-year meeting. So you can get started on renewing right away. Any views and opinions expressed in this webinar are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect any official views or positions of FCICA. Please excuse this brief pause. Welcome to the FCICA product webinar series. We are pleased to have Nick Jeanette of Tools for Flooring with us today. Nick, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for being here. And Lizzie and the FCICA, thanks for having me. Um, I'm Nick Jeanette with ToolsForFlooring.com. And today we're looking at some of the newest and most innovative tools on the market that um, we have to offer. And uh, I'm looking at different things when I put this together to benefit contractors and installers. And the things that we looked at when selecting these tools are things that are going to save you time, which in turn will save you money. Uh, safety is a big thing we're looking at. We're looking at tools that are professional tools um, that are going to last a long time. We're going to stand behind um, and we'll keep you on the job. And then also make you look professional or your installers look professional when they're on the job. And then also, obviously, the innovation. So there's a lot of tools on here that are new that you may not have seen, or if you have seen, you haven't had them explained to you. So it's some exciting stuff and the kind of stuff we get excited about. So the next slide we're going to look at is actually the brand. Or, um, oh, I'm sorry, we got a polling question. So on here, if you want to answer this polling question, we're just trying to get an idea of where people are buying tools. So it is where do you buy your tools and supplies? And that would be either local distributor, um, a big box store like your Home Depot's, Lowe's, uh, online, somewhere like Tools for Flooring, or some of those big box stores offer online as well, or all of the above. Maybe it's a little bit of everything. All right. You should see that poll on your screen now, and you can actually select more than one option if you'd like. Yeah, and it may be or it may be the, uh, all of the above. And a lot of people in our industry are still buying through, you know, a local distributor. They like that face-to-face. -face. They like to get their hands on the tool. More and more younger people are getting used to the online where, you know, you're going on, reading reviews, and, uh, you know, getting answers that way. Looks like we've got a tie between local distributor and big box store, and just a few less are shopping online. All right. So um, moving on to the, the first slide here um, with the, the tools, we're actually just looking at some of the brands that we offer, um, and, and these are the ones that are actually in the, the show today, um, or in the presentation, rather. And these are going to be some of the more innovative brands that I'm presenting today just to show off some of their new tools. So we have Bullet Tools, 
um, who makes some of the, the best cutters in the business, guillotine cutters, IQ power tools, which is going to be our uh, masonry saws and wet saw that I'm showing today, which is actually a dry saw, sorry, a dry tile saw. We have tracks, crane, which are going to be great uh, flooring tools in general. They have a huge line. Hawk Enterprises, Primatech, D-Cut, and Ruby Tile Tools. All right. Bullet Tools. So today we're looking at, from Bullet Tools, we're looking at quite a few tools from them. They have a lot of new innovations this year. Um, they have the Cruiser, the Glider, the Paladin Pneumatic Cutter, the Sharpshooter, which is now offering a light on it, and the vinyl cutter. So we'll go through these. The first one we're looking at is the Bullet Cruiser. And the reason I'm showing this one is LVT Plank, um, and pr particularly, sorry, your LVP, as it would be called, is becoming more and more popular every day. The wood look, long planks, um, and they're getting wider every day as well. And I get asked by installers a lot, how do we do rip cuts on this? Because most of them are still using a straight edge and a utility knife, which works. But if we're looking at the safety piece, um, we're looking at being accurate and then also quick. Um, this is a great tool to get you away from the straight edge and utility knife. And what this does is it has a rolling blade. So you actually crank the material through, and you can see on there there's a fence. So you move that fence, you can set your blade, set your LVT plank in there, and crank it straight through. You're going to get an accurate cut on there. It's going to be fast. Um, and with you know all bullet tools, pretty much, you're going to be on the job right um, where you're working with no dust, no noise, and no electricity. Um, and it, Bullet makes high quality tools that are going to last a long time. The cool thing about this tool as well, they also have an upgrade where you can put carpet tile through it. So you can cut carpet tile accurately and as you crank through you can move your carpet tile if you wanted to do a, a serpent pattern on there as well. So it's a really cool new innovative tool. Um, we do have a video with this, Lizzie, if we could play that really quick. I don't know if that video is available, so we'll move forward on that. Nick, it's playing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, it just wrapped up. Okay, perfect. So that gives you just a real quick snapshot of what it looks like and how quickly you can work with this tool. So this here is the vinyl glider, and this is going to be the same concept. You're, it's, it's strictly for rip cuts on a vinyl plank. Um, this one is the more affordable version. You can see it's also more portable. It has a handle on there. Um, same kind of deal. It has a fence that you are adjusting. There is actually ruler marks on the two bars going across, so you can measure accurately. You lock your... Um, your fence in place, and then you're pushing this across your vinyl plank. It's got a scoring wheel on it. It'll score it so you can snap it. Um, with both of these tools, they will work on some of your thicker LVP products that maybe have a rubber backing or a waterproof core. You're going to cut it upside down, so you're actually cutting through the, the rubber backing or you know, some of them have a cork backing into the product, scoring it, and then snapping it. Um, once again, uh, you know, you're working on the job site, no dust, no electricity, no noise, and um, it's very portable, especially this one. Uh, this one's going to be the more affordable version as well. And next, we're looking at the Bullet Paladin. Um, there's nothing else I've ever seen on the market like this. This is a great tool if you're doing hardwood, especially a very thick hardwood. This will cut solid and engineered up to an inch thick. Um, 
And what it is is it's just like your typical guillotine cutter, except there's no lever because you're cutting with um, – it's, it's pneumatic. So you're hooking it up to an air compressor, and it's just the press of a button. Uh, you know, in this you can work on the job, no dust. There is some noise with an air compressor, obviously, but um, you're still right there on the job. It will also cut your LVT, um, commercial-grade vinyl, laminate, PVC, rubber tile, cove base. It's going to go through pretty much anything, and uh, it has Bullet's five-year warranty, which is an awesome warranty for a tool like this. So Bullet has upgraded two of their biggest cutters, and the one that we're really looking at is the 13-inch. This is a guillotine cutter that will do um, hardwood, most hardwood, depending on how hard it is on the Janka scale, but it will do most hardwoods and engineers up to an inch thick. Their blades outlast over 20 saw blades. It's got a built-in ruler, and everybody's been really excited that it has an LED light across it. Um, that's been the most exciting thing about this tool to all the installers that I've shown it to. Once again, it'll cut laminate, commercial vinyl, luxury tile, um, parquet, PVC tile, cove base, pretty much everything, um, it, you know, and even getting into that solid hardwood, which is really big with this. They've extended the lever so you get more uh, leverage. You also, it has new thicker bearings on there. Um, and these tools are built to last. Once again, common theme here, no dust, no noise, no electricity. And the 13-inch the Magnum is the one that will do solid. The 9-inch will do some engineered. It will not do solid, but you're going to get through most laminate with that as well. Um, and it, it's, it's a great cutter. And there's your LED light. So... This tool here is strictly for your luxury vinyl plank. It is made for portability and convenience. A lot of guys are using this alongside the smaller rip cutter that we showed earlier, the glider, and bringing this on. You can see it has a handle. It all actually packs up, and you can bring it onto the job. But this is great for just doing your cross cuts on luxury vinyl plank for a quick install. Um, you get up to 5,000 square feet of braid, blade life um, and no dust, no noise, no electricity. So this is a great tool for, you know, when you're just doing a small luxury vinyl plank job, which is becoming more and more popular. All right, so the next polling question we're looking at is what do you look for in a service from a service standpoint? And you probably look for all of these things, but I want to know what you value most um, because this is, you know, the things we offer, and I'd like to know what you guys really are looking for when you are buying tools. So this would be knowledge from the customer service team, um, timely and accurate delivery, um, whether that be, you know, from a distributor, a big box store online, or, you know, tools for flooring online, a uh, wide variety to choose from, so somewhere you can go that can be a one-stop shop for the things you need, or a warranty from the manufacturer. Another second here to put in your response. Looks like right now knowledge is the most important. Okay. And no surprise that um, you know people who are willing to take their time out of their day to come to a webinar and get educated value knowledge. Yeah. Okay, so timely and accurate delivery actually pulled forward, but knowledge is close second. And a uh, wide variety to choose from actually got no results. Yep, and the warranty would be valued as well. And you do want tools that, you know, you, you can stand behind, you know, have a warranty. Um, and then timely and accurate delivery, obviously, everybody needs a job done fast. All right, moving back into our slides here. We're going to look at... A new innovative tool from D-Cut. Sorry, I skipped forward one. 
So this is a cove-based gouge, so especially for your commercial jobs that you're needing to move quick and you have a bunch of base to install with a bunch of your outside corners. So this will actually gouge the back of the base. It has a V blade on it, so you're getting a nice perfect cut. Um, it's adjustable up and down, um, and it's just a quick punch, and it makes a perfect corner for you so you can wrap around the wall. Um, it works on anywhere from two and a half inch to six and a half base, and I know it says four inch there, but they do have a, a uh, an attachment now where you can do two and a half inch base. Um, you can adjust it, and it just makes for a real quick, perfect corner. A lot of guys are are good installers that can cut with a cove base gouge or a utility knife and get this done. Um, but this would be a quicker, more accurate way to do it, or if you have a guy who does not like doing that or an installer that does not um, have the experience where they're cutting a nice V in there, um, this is a great tool. And there's nothing else like it on the market. D-Cut also has a great tool here for, um, for cutting pretty much in every way possible on your luxury vinyl plank and luxury vinyl tile. Um, this is the D-Cut. LP330, and the great thing about this is you're able to feed the product in from the side, as you can see here, and do your rip cuts. Um, you can do notch cuts, cross cuts, and angle cuts as well. There's a fence on there where you can move it at a 45. Um, it's got a ruler on it, and it also is easy to transport. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways here where you can set this up and do a different style cuts. So right here you can see we're slowly feeding a plank through, cutting a, um, a rip cut on there, and the product is against the fence, so you're going to get a nice accurate cut as you slide it down and, and uh, cut with the guillotine cutter. Next one is just your standard cross cut, like most cutters will do. This one is actually, you can see the blade sliding out there. You can slide your blade to the side and then cut for a notch cut. There's that rip cut again, a little closer. You can also see there's wheels on there for transport. Um, D-Cut makes super innovative tools, and this is one of the most innovative. It's a really neat tool to use. All right, so next polling question. What kind of tools do you buy the most? And it may be a mix, um, but we have tile and stone, hardwood, vinyl, and that would be your LVP, or if it's commercial vinyl, either one of those. And then also um, carpet, and that's you know commercial or residential carpet. It looks like so, we're getting a lot of people on the vinyl side. Yes, um, yes. Vinyl shot forward really fast there. <laughs> And I, I I would imagine that you know a lot of this is getting into the more popular um, some of the commercial grade mills of the uh, LVP and then also obviously your commercial vinyl and uh, just with us being commercial contractors here. All right, on to our next tool here. So this is kind of a, a, a great tool to have um, for any installer on your team. Um, this is actually a commercial air mover. And a lot of people are using this on big appliances, but it can be used on a multitude of things. Um, you can see here on a fridge, it lifts up to 800 pounds. But this is a great tool to be able to move furniture, fridge, uh, it can move a washer, dryer, stack combo. But if you have buildings like that that are going to have things that are going to be in the way that you're going to have to move, this gets uh, you just slide the two skis under there. It's air powered. It's uh, just a 12 amp, um, you know, plug in, into any wall, 120 volt, and it makes it easy to maneuver things out of the way. It's a great tool. Um, just it, it's something that's good to have. Any a lot of installers are are using these and giving me great feedback, saying yeah, this saves my back, saves time. It made it really easy. So just something to think about that maybe you haven't seen that's on the market. That's a great add-on. 
also from Crane, um, just a, a power scraper. This is a tool that's been around for a while. It was known as the Bearcat and the 710 before, but now it is a folding um, scraper. So you can actually put it in the back of a compact car. Um, it's got a handle on it, so it's easy to get on and off the job. It's a collapse and carry. It's only 58 pounds. This is really good for your VCT removal or adhesive removal. So if you've got a spot where you've got a gunked up floor or VCT and even some commercial carpets, you could you could score the floor, you know, and, and cut across with a blade and then come through and peel it up with this. It's got a 45 degree angle for optimal pressure. So th this is a, the reason I'm showing this one is it's new. It's because it's the port of war version of the old 710. All right, Hawk Enterprises. Um, today we're just looking at one tool from them, and uh, the reason I'm showing this one is because it's super versatile, and then it's also got dust control. And we know with the silica standards, that is such a big thing. This one comes with built-in dust control. It's got a metal shroud, which is great because it's going to last a long time, and it comes standard. Um, the reason I am also showing this tool is because is We've gotten such great feedback on it. Uh, it lasts a long time, and guys can use it for anything from sanding a hardwood floor to, um, you know, stripping, scrubbing, light grinding, and resurfacing. But getting in there and profiling the floor, a lot of people are throwing just a scrape away blade on there or the dimer brush, which is what Home Depot rents to be able to profile that floor. It's got a universal clutch plate, so you can put just about anything on there. Um, great tool made in the USA. All right, another super innovative tool is the IQ TS244 Dry Cut Dustless Tile Saw. So this is the first dry and dustless tile saw of its kind. Um, once again, for the silica dust that you get when cutting tile, um, it's got a built-in vac with a HEPA filter. Super easy to clean. Um, you can cut indoors. You could cut in a master bedroom with this thing. Um, it plugs into a standard outlet, cuts ceramic, porcelain, mo uh, marble, and stone. And just like the most popular wet saws on the market, it will do a 24-inch rip cut and an 18-inch diagonal cut. It's got a 10-inch blade. It'll cut up to an inch thick. It's very easy to transport. Um, it comes off the stand. It's got wheels. Um, it's got an, a really easy internal filter um, where you clean, you just spin the filter at the end of the day, and it's going to put all your dust and debris into a tray. It's also got a lot of accessories that are available for it. So you get, it has an extension table for your large format tile, a miter attachment to be able to do your 45 cuts, and a vacuum attachment to actually be able to use the vacuum just to attach as a shop vac to clean up your area when you're done. So if you were cutting in a master bedroom or master bedroom and you had some debris that maybe you dropped a little bit or something like that, rather than having to bring in a shop vac, you can just use the internal vac. Um, they have a hose that hooks up to it, which is great for cleaning up the machine and your area when you're done. So really cool, really innovative tool here. Um, this company actually makes masonry saws. And this is built off the backbone of that, so it is rock solid. Um, it is a great tool to have on the job. Um, we have a video with this as well. Lizzie, if we could play that. Yep.
Okay, Nick, that's ready to go. All right, perfect. And that video is a great, um, it's a great presentation on how this saves you time on the job, uh, time after time, and, and it also shows you know where it's cutting in a, a master bathroom there. All right, so what do you look for most in tools? Another poll question here. So brand name and quality, so a, a timeless brand like Crane or somewhere like that where you know you're, what you're getting. Safety, time saved on the job like you just saw in the video, or price. All right, so it looks like a lot of you guys value that brand name and quality and then also time saved. And that's pretty much what I expected. I mean, those are two of the biggest things. And then also um, the safety piece, which hopefully most of the tools that, you know, you, you have anyway are going to be safe or, you know, or your guys or installers are trained to be safe on the job. All right, Prime Attack. The reason we're featuring Primatech is one, they have one new innovative tool that is um, one of a kind, and then also their engineering in general is really great. They, uh, they're made in Canada, and they're some of the best hardware nailers on the market. So this is the Edge, and this um, is actually designed to blind nail up to two inches away from the wall. Um, so this is strictly for your end rows. You're not going to use this in the field just on the end rows it's uh you know keeps you from scuffing or damaging your walls and then um, it's also going to save you time where you're not having to top nail on those end ones or do it one at a time with a palm nailer you can just glide on your end rows and get close to the wall it's also going to make your job look more professional as it's nailing at a 45 just like everywhere else in the field uh, it does only take specific proprietary cleats and uh, it actually somehow bends the cleat. It's a crazy engineering that gets this done, so it's really cool to see. It's great for your hallways, closets, um, you know, where you're getting close to cabinets. So it's got a lot of uses. It's a great tool for hardwood guys to have if you're doing hardwood all the time um, where you're getting to those end rows. The next one is a nailer-stapler combo. So if you're if you're an installer that prefers maybe nails on some jobs uh, or cleats and staples on another, um, this is a great tool to where you can use both. Uh, this is pretty much with all Primatech guns. It's going to be a smooth uh, installation when you're sliding across the floor. they got a great wheels on there, um, no recoil. And then you can actually actuate um, from different angles when you hit the uh, – with the mallet, you can. It's very light. It's light impact. Um, it's you could hit it with your hand. You wouldn't want to all day, but you can hit it with a mallet. Um, and because the engineering is so great on these things, maintenance, taking it apart, putting it together, if you got to fix something, is super simple. Uh, it's got an adjustable base that will go from three eighths to three quarter inch flooring. But once again, Primatech makes super innovative, great tools. Any questions? Okay, so at this time, um, you do have a Q&A tab in the bottom left box on your screen. So go ahead and type in any questions you have and submit those. Uh, this is a great opportunity to uh, get some specific questions uh, through to Nick, and he can uh, answer any of that. So, Nick, because Tools for Flooring is an online shop, if they wanted to um, you know, check out any of these tools or, or talk with a rep like you, how could they do that? Yeah, so toolsforflooring.com would be the first place you want to go. Check out the tool. Check out any descriptions. We have videos attached as well. And then, obviously, if you wanted to talk to somebody, you can call our, our toll-free number. Um, and talk with any of our customer service representatives. Uh, they have great knowledge of all these tools. And if you wanted to talk directly to me, just call that toll-free number and ask for Nick.
I'd be happy to talk to you know anybody about any of these tools. Also, if there's anything that you're looking for that you saw out in the field or you had any questions on, um, you know, I can let you know if we have that. If not, I can let you know where to find it. Um, but most of these tools um, that you saw here today, or all these tools you saw here today, are available on toolsforflooring.com. And then we, this is just a snapshot of some of the things we have. We also have a ton of stuff for your guys' commercial vinyl, whether it's heat welding or it's the LVP, LVT, that kind of product, hardwood, ceramic, uh, the, the carpet. We have a whole line of tools, so a huge variety. If you had to pick your favorite tool, what would it be? I <laughs> try not to be biased. I think the most innovative that I've seen in the last couple of years is the dry tile saw, just because there's nothing like it in the market. Um, you can see the time it saves you and IQ does a great job of building their products. Nick, you have anything else you want to share with the audience? No, I just wanted to say, um, you know, make sure if if you're interested in any of these tools, check them out at your local distributor or check out toolsforflooring.com. If you have any questions, once again, call the toll-free number, um, get in touch with me, and I, I would be more than happy to help you with any of uh, any questions you had. Um, and thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Lizzie, for allowing me to present. Absolutely. It's always cool to learn more about tools. You know, we hear a lot about all the new flooring types and how to install types and lots about moisture and adhesives. And uh, I feel like we don't talk about tools often enough. You can't get the job done without them. Yeah, and, it, you know, another thing that I, I love about my job and coming to shows like the FCICA is hearing from installers and contractors on what they think about the tools, what are the setbacks, what are the things that, you know, maybe these tools have helped them. You know, maybe a lot of guys will come and say, hey, that's the best tool I've ever had. It saved me time on this. And, you know, there's other times where people are honest about the setbacks of the tool, which I can talk to manufacturers and relay that to them, and it, it betters our industry as a whole. So if you guys have anything, you know, that you've used these tools, your guys have used them, they have complaints, or even if it's a situation where maybe there's something missing where, you know, is there a tool for this? If not, you know, maybe we can look at getting with one of our manufacturers and it'd be a good idea to add that. So all the feedback that I get from the industry is very, very productive and uh, positive for me. So please feel free to reach out to me with any feedback you guys have. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions coming through at this time. Um, so I think we can go ahead and wrap up here. Uh, of course, if anyone thinks of anything, um, again, uh, like Nick said, you can call that toll-free number on the Tools for Flooring website and ask for Nick. Um, you can also always email FCICA with any questions, and we can pass that along as well. Uh, on behalf of FCICA, thank you so much, Nick, for presenting today's webinar sponsored by Tools for Flooring. And Sims, you may now navigate to your education credit profile to submit credit for this webinar. Now keep in mind, if you were at Convention 2019 and you watched Session 2 with Nick and Corey, um, they went over a lot of these same tools. Um, so you won't be able to get credit for this session. Um, but uh, it, you can absolutely talk more to Nick, learn more about other tools. Um, I'm sure they have demos, or if Nick comes out to your company and talks about stuff, you can always submit that for training. Um, but thank you again for joining us today, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you, everybody.